Hello, welcome back. Websites. Wednesdays. Today, I'm going to show you how to change your theme in Weebly. A lot, one of the questions I get asked all the time is, I've chosen a theme, I've built my website, I don't really like it. Can I change it? Yeah, quite easy. All you need to do to change your theme in Weebly is you go into the Weebly editor. Again, we're back to the website Wednesday's video. Uh, not video, it's a website. And then what you want to do is you just go to the top tab, go to theme, and change theme at the top on the left there. Now, the biggest question, the biggest thing I always get asked is, I don't want to lose all my content. I don't want to lose everything that I've done. You won't. You'll be fine. When you change your theme in Weebly, it keeps all of your content, it keeps all of the changes you've done, and it just embeds the theme the differences in the background. So it'll be okay. So I'm not 100% sure which one it is that we've got chosen at the moment. I think it's this one. Let's go for something with a completely different style. Uh, this one, for example, this has uh, the menu is in a very different place. Now, when choosing a theme, the thing you want to keep in mind is where's the menu? and the title, and it's essentially the general style of what you can see here. So for example, if we look at this one, this yoga one, it's got the title is in the middle, and the menu is actually this little button over here towards the left. That's how that theme works. We can change the thing, the content, we can change the images. It's just how the theme works, essentially, is what we want to look at. So let's choose this yoga one, actually, because it's completely different. So it's got uh, a different style of menu. We'll choose that, and then what you'll see is it's going to change some of the fonts. It's going to just put that website uh, theme straight in the middle, and there you go. So you can see it's changed the theme. Now, problems that you might find uh, is that it has changed the font and the themes and colors and stuff. So you might find that even though your content is all still there, some stuff doesn't look great. Why, why have we got a giraffe? I'm going to go <laughs> get rid of the giraffe. And the way you change those te uh, texts and colors and all that stuff, you go back into theme. And on the left, there's change font. As you hover over some of this stuff, you'll see that it draws boxes. So if I hover over headline, it highlights which bit is the actual headline. So we can click on that. And then it gives me these options of, I can change the font, I can change the style, I can change the size, I can change the color. So I'm going to change the color of that to white. It's not quite white. I, they give you some really weird colors. Um, if you want to change it more, click on the little arrow at the bottom corner and then it will show you so you can actually drag this. And there you go. And we've changed that and it looks a little bit better on the image that we've got behind it. So those are the thick problems you might find. If you want to change the color of text, buttons, uh, the things within the theme, go to theme, change fonts. Uh, or theme options might have a couple of things in there. Uh, that's things like whether the navigation wants to be collapsed or not. Depends, it depends on the theme. All of this stuff changes. Yeah, that's it, that's how you change a the theme. And now you'll see that our whole website, if I publish that, is actually changed from the original website Wednesday thing with the menu at the top right, is actually changed to this lovely looking one where the menu is up at the top there as a collapsible menu. Too lovely. Your content stays, your images stay, the only thing you might need to do is tweak around with some of the fonts and the colours that the new theme will bring in. But that way you could experiment with a load of different ones. Think about it from your customer's point of view. Are your customers going to know how to use a collapsible header? Are your customers going to want to see a collapsible header? You never know. And that is how you do your themes in Moodle. Next week, I am going to show you how to add and embed social feeds onto your website, which is quite interesting. There's a few different ways you can do it. Have a good week. I will see you then.